In this video, I'll share some tips with you on how you can make your fragrance last longer. I'll see you in the video. Hi, it's Peter from Scent Trail. I'm glad you're here. On this channel, we talk about fragrances. So if you love fragrances or just want to smell great, consider subscribing. And now, let's do it. I guess we've all been in a situation where we wore a fragrance and it just didn't last that long. We get out there, you know, you had an event or some place and you kind of wish you had a better performing fragrance. Now, lots of the Varvatos fragrances come with these little things. You know, you take them out and you fill them up. Or you can purchase these online, little atomizers. You can fill these up to kind of respray yourself or even some of the stores give you these little tiny little ones. You can actually open these and reuse them and they kind of leak a little bit, but you know, they're great for little pockets. Now, me, I carry keys, wallet, money, and cell phone. So I don't carry a purse. It's a lot easier to carry these jumbo things around if you have a purse. Maybe you carry a man purse, it's good. But for me, I really need to make sure that the fragrance lasts and I'm going to give you some tips on how to do it. So my first tip is, the easiest one obviously, carry an atomizer. My second tip is a little bit more touchy. Now you think it would be obvious, but I guess for some people it isn't. And we've all been in the vicinity of a person who thought that they could use a fragrance to camouflage the way they smell. So. My tip number two is you need to make sure that you're clean. No fragrance in the world will mask bad body odor. Now I know that's yuck and I apologize, but if you use good soaps that are non-scented, not too astringent, then your fragrance will perform much better on your skin and you won't choke everybody else out around you. So my tip number two is please be clean. Tip number three, I already mentioned. Don't use harsh smelling soaps. Soaps that are too astringent or alkaline or acidic, which we don't really get, we have alkaline soaps, they interfere with the smell because they break down the fragrance too quick. Think of it this way. You pay $100 for a good fragrance. Your $5 soap is going to mess up your $100 fragrance. So, adjust accordingly and get a good soap. And I guess since we're on the subject of showering, let's continue. After you're done showering and you used your good soap, you want to moisturize. After you've towel dried, your body is still kind of moist. That's when you want to apply your moisturizer. Also unscented, good moisturizer. You don't want to damage your skin, nor do you want to mess with the fragrance. So you apply it right after your towel dried, your body is still a bit moist. Moisture attracts moisture. There you go. Moisturizer has tiny little molecules of oil. That's what softens our skin. When you spray the fragrance onto your body, it gets trapped in the moisturizer and oil evaporates at a much slower rate than water does and therefore your fragrance will last longer. So now we're done with the shower, thank goodness. Tip number five. Don't keep your fragrances in the shower, well, or in the bathroom, for that matter. The constant fluctuating of uh, humidity and heat will literally deteriorate your fragrance much faster. Now, I know it is convenient. You probably get ready, put your makeup on, or, you know, shave and all that, and it's easy to just have a fragrance right there and grab it. However, the fragrance will deteriorate by the light, the humidity, and the heat fluctuation. So maybe keep it outside of the, the bathroom. That's tip number five. Also, you will notice on your fragrance if it's gone bad, it will change color and uh, the fragrance itself, you'll know it won't be the same. Somehow it'll just smell different and the projection and, and longevity and all that is just horrible. You'll wanna wash it off because it doesn't smell good anymore. So tip number five, don't keep your fragrances in the restroom, bathroom shower, whatever you have. Tip number six, and I've seen this a lot and it always annoys me. I don't know who came up with this, but someone did because everyone's doing it. 
When you're about to spray your fragrance, don't spray it and then do this walk through like you're on the catwalk. When you spray a fragrance, the disbursement is wide, especially if you spray it in front of you. It's sort of like this minor nebulous in front of you, okay? So you walk through it and you barely get any molecules on you at all. You can smell it because you just walk through it, but it doesn't adhere to anything. It is a waste of fragrance. You'd need to do like 10 of them to walk through to make anything happen. So just stop walking through the cloud. It doesn't work. That's tip number six. Tip number seven goes right with tip number six. If you want your fragrance to actually smell stronger and last longer, instead of walking through the cloud, go closer with your fragrance. Wherever you spray it, if you spray it right here, don't spray it from right this distance. Most of it will go on the side, it will go away. Spray it from a closer proximity. Yeah, almost have it puddle up. Don't have it puddle up because it'll drip, but get it nice, you know, a, a good amount on there, you can tell. And that will kind of sink in to your moisturizer and it will actually last longer if you give it one or two sprays in the area that you like to spray. That's tip number seven. Spray closer because the concentration will be higher and your fragrance will project and last longer. And tip number eight, since we were already on one of the pulse points, is spray on your pulse points. Now I know lots of you guys and girls out there know what the pulse points are, but just in case someone that's watching the video doesn't know, let's go over some quick fragrance pulse points. You got your wrist on either side. However, I don't like the wrists too much because you're like, you see, I'm wearing jewelry and I have a watch on. And if you're on the computer typing, if you sit down in a chair, if you grab your kids, they smell like you because you just wiped off your uh, expensive cologne on them. And then, you know, <laughs> everybody knows it's your kid. Uh, so on and so forth. So I don't really like the wrists. However, it is a nice pulse point if you don't wear jewelry. And so, you know, it's easy. The next one for me would be I like the opposite of the elbow, whatever that, the nook, the crook, something like that. I like it in here. You can spray not too far away. If you go this far away, once again, it gets everywhere. Go close enough, one, two, and do one, two, and you're actually in a great area. Of course, obviously, when you're wearing a long shirt, like in the wintertime, it, it doesn't make that much sense. It would have sense it would have to go through the front or come out here or it'll stain your shirt. So it's more for the summertime, but it is a great place to spray your fragrance right here on the opposite of the elbow. <laughs> the next one would be right behind the ears. One, two. Lots of people, uh, for me, I don't really like it anywhere close around here. To me, that just kind of, it, it gets too strong a, a lot of times, um, but many people do one, two, and you're good to go. Another great place for a man to spray is, and I guess for a woman as well, is to spray right in the center here. Uh, however, I don't really do that. I don't know, some people may, but it's a good place to just maybe inside your shirt uh, I don't generally advise anybody to do that, uh, especially if you're a woman. The whole area around here, you want to keep away from the alcohol. It is alcohol, and if you wear fragrance every day, um, it will aid in aging your skin. So I would stay away from the décolleté area and not spray any fragrance there. Another good fragrance place to spray is in the back of your neck. Um, I guess if you wear a ponytail, you could. If you have longer hair, it makes no sense because it doesn't come through the hair. But for guys, it's a great place to spray in the back of the neck. As you walk, you leave a nice little scent trail. And there's another area if you wear shorts or if you wear a skirt for the summertime, you can spray it on the opposite end of your knee. Whatever that is called. The crook of your knee? I don't know. The other end of your knee on the back. That way, when you walk in the summertime, you also leave a nice little scent trail. It's behind you. 
It does heat up when you sweat and walk outside, so it does help protect and it does help uh, the longevity of the fragrance. So the back of your knee, here, the opposite side of your elbow, <laughs> your wrists, both spots in here and the back are really a great place to spray your fragrances. Tip number nine, spray fragrance in your hair. Now obviously that works better if you have long hair as your hair moves and stuff like that. That's a little more difficult for guys. Uh, you don't have to worry about the alcohol that is in a fragrance. Uh, it evaporates rather quickly, uh, just like in hairspray. And it's pretty much the same idea. Perfumous alcohol evaporates pretty quickly. It's porous, so it, it absorbs the fragrance and it will last like all day. So tip number nine, spray it in your hair. Tip number 10, spray it on your clothes. Now we talked about fibers and stuff like that, natural, organic, you know, cotton, cashmere, wool, all that works really great. It's a lot like hair. However, you have to be really careful. Some fragrances, uh, I tried to do a test for you guys. I sprayed some black Afghano on a white paper. It didn't really stain it that much, but I would still be careful with some darker fragrances or maybe they're uh, a really deep, orange, almost kind of red. If you spray it really close on your lapel or on your shirt, especially like I told you, get, go a little bit closer, gotta be a little bit careful. So I would test it out first on an inconspicuous spot to see whether it'll actually stain or not. So be careful with darker fragrances, spraying on clothes. But spraying on clothes will make your fragrance last a long time. I've had some jackets and sweaters that I pulled out the next year <laughs> and it still smelled like a fragrance. So it really will make your fragrance last longer. Another little thing here, since we're in uh, winter time and people are going to start layering, it's a good idea to spray on the outside. And then when you take your coat off to go in somewhere, you also have one or two sprays on the underneath of your coat. That way you're not leaving your scent at the coat check. Tip number 11, don't rub your fragrance. I see lots of people spraying it and then they're going to town and rubbing it and you know putting it all over. Each time you mash it together and you rub, you break the top and some of the middle notes. So they will be broken, they'll, they'll be gone really quick and you're left with the base notes much earlier on. Instead, spray and you can do a light tap if you wanna disperse it to the other side, but do not rub the fragrance. It will absolutely destroy the molecule and it won't last long at all. So no rubbing the fragrance. That's tip number 11. And if at this point you're still having problems with your fragrance, just go get a different fragrance. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I got a couple more for you. And this one works really well. It'll save your gentle fragrance, okay? If you have a fragrance that just doesn't, doesn't work very long, and you know, you want it to last, I mean, I can't promise you it'll last 10 hours, it won't. It might not even last five hours. But if you have a fragrance that's literally just a couple of hours and you need a little bit extra, okay, what you can do is on the places that you spray, not your clothes, on your body, here, here, or here. Just put a little bit of Vaseline. I don't mean like this, okay? A little bit of Vaseline, just a tiny little coat. Okay, on your point, and spray the fragrance directly over it. Vaseline is really thick and has really dense, uh, I guess, petroleum molecules that will really hold on to the fragrance for a long time. So it's probably the, one of the best tricks to make your fragrance last longer. It's better than uh, lotion. Lotion works really well, but Vaseline is just another level. Just make sure it's not too thick so you don't stain your hair and your clothes and all, all that. Just a light little layer, spray your fragrance right over it and it should give you a little bit more longevity if you absolutely need it. And my final tip for you to make fragrances last longer. You can go the, the route of mixing fragrances. Molecules Eccentric, Goethe Schön, makes a line of fragrances like this ISOE Super Molecule All One that you can spray on top or underneath 
that make them last longer. It has a little bit of a smell to it. Uh, they also make many more. Uh, I have a few of them and I'll do a review on that at some point. Uh, but this is ISOE Super and you can spray that underneath or on top of your fragrance and it will help the longevity. There are other brands out there as well, but I really like uh, Grisa Schoen's Molecules. So that's my tip number 13. You can layer it with another fragrance, especially something like ISOE Super. So those were 13 tips from me to help you make your fragrances last longer. If you have other ones that I don't know about, I would love to hear from you. Please put them in the comments and maybe I'll use them in a follow-up video of this one in the future. So please let me know if you have some ways to make your fragrances last longer. We could all use them. Okay, let's narrate it really quick so you can have it all in one if you want to write it down. Not that we're in school, but hey, you might. Number one, use an atomizer. Something like this. Keep it in your pocket. Refresh your fragrance. It's really good. Number two, keep your body clean. Clean body will always do better on fragrances. Number three, don't use harsh soaps as they will break down your fragrances because of the alkalinity in harsh soaps or shampoos. So that's number three. Number four, use a moisturizer on your body directly out of the shower after you towel dry. Moisture attracts moisture, it'll penetrate into your skin, and therefore your fragrance will last better. On dry skin, it just evaporates really quick and it won't do that well. So that's number four, moisturizer. Number five, don't keep them in your bathroom. The fluctuation between heat and cold, it's all too much for the fragrance and it'll deteriorate quicker and you'll know when the color is changed and the fragrance is just awful, okay? So that's number five. Don't spray and walk through the cloud. Don't do it, it doesn't work. It's not enough on your body, on your person. It's, it goes everywhere in the room and not on you. Don't walk through the cloud. That is number six. Let's see, number seven. Actually, go closer with the atomizer. Spray it closer instead of farther away. When you're farther away, it goes everywhere. When you're closer, most of it will get on your skin and that's where it should be. It is, after all, after all a fragrance for you to smell nice and not your floors or your cupboards. <laughs> okay. Number, that was number seven. Number eight, spray your fragrance on your pulse points. Here, 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 and the back of your knee, whatever that was called. Spray fragrance on your pulse points. As they heat up, they will project and last a lot longer. Well, good. So number nine, spray your fragrance in your hair. If you have long hair, it works really well. Shorter hair, not so much. And if you have no hair, I'm sorry. I don't, didn't mean to leave you out. <laughs> Number 10, spray on clothes. Now, natural fibers will work better. Wool, cashmere, cotton work great. Synthetic fibers, not so much. The fragrance can't penetrate. It sits on top, it might just come off. So natural fibers work much better if you spray it on clothes. And in the winter time, make sure you layer it. First layer, one spray, second layer, one spray, and then on your coat on the outside. You might want to do a couple. So when you go coat check, you still keep your fragrance with you. That's a little extra for you just to know in the winter months. Number 11, don't rub your fragrance. You damage the, the fragrance molecules when you rub and you really kill the top notes and some of the middle notes. And all that you're left with is the base notes, which you hope to get there in a while. You want to enjoy the top and the uh, middle notes first. So don't rub your fragrance. Make your fragrance last longer. That's tip number 11. Tip number 12, use a little bit of Vaseline. Don't use too much, but use a little bit if you're really having a super duper hard time, okay? A little bit of Vaseline here, a little bit in here. Spray your fragrance on top and it should last and give you that extra little push that you need from your fragrance, okay? Use a little bit of Vaseline is tip number 12. And then the final one, if all else fails, oh, well, not if all else fails. I actually like these, like the Molecule 01. I like those by themselves as well. 
but they do help on some fragrances uh, to make them last just a bit longer. So number 13, my final tip is get a fragrance additive that you can uh, spray on top or beneath the fragrance that you want to wear to make it last longer. This particular one is from Geza Schön. It's Molecules Eccentric and this is the ISOE Super Molecule 01. Really like this one. Those were my 13 tips. Ended up to be 13. I don't know if I should have skipped 13 and just went to 14. I'm not really sure, but I'm not that kind of person. 13 is a fine number to me. So 13 tips to help you make your fragrance last longer. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. And up until the next time I post a video, I want you to take good care of yourself. Smell nice. And I will talk to you soon. Until then, send trail.